What is going on AMC investors? Welcome back to another video on AMC Entertainment. So guys, as usual, we have a lot to talk about in today's video and a lot to expose in today's video. So in the recent weeks, we have been talking a lot about naked short selling and this idea that there could be synthetic shares in the market. And so in today's video, I really don't think there's much more firm evidence that proves how many synthetic shares are actually floating around this market. It's pretty insane, so I cannot wait to show you guys that. But also, make sure and stick around for the end of the video of the video because I was scrolling on a YouTube today and I saw this video by Trey's trades and how he said what your mentality should be or like what your expectations should be on AMC stock and I did not even watch the video but it just inspired me just that title inspired me to make my own video on what I think your expectations should be for AMC stock whether that's in the next hour the next day the next week the next year because I know a lot of you may be getting discouraged right now and newer investors you thought this short squeeze was just gonna happen happen overnight we were going to go up to a hundred thousand dollars per share you were going to get out and live the life of your dreams although that is possible it's not necessarily reality so i want to share with you true expectations of how this stuff works so make sure and stick around for that but without further ado let's get into some ta and then i want to expose all of these manipulated techniques that really are in the market now before we get into it real quick if you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel make sure and do so and make sure and turn on those bell notifications so you guys never miss an important upload on AMC or any other stock in the market and with that said guys let's get right into it so let's start with this right here which is a technical analysis update so as we can see although AMC stock is consolidating although we are currently going down we're sitting at about $56 per share right now which is down about 3% on the day nevertheless though we are still in this uptrend pattern we are still following this line which is in general uptrend that means every time we hit a bottom here the bottom tends to be higher and higher which is obviously a very good sign and is a bullish momentum now we can also look at some other stuff like volume which we are going to talk about later in today's video the problem is not everything is good with amc right now and that's because of volume is severely declining and i won't talk about that a lot right now because we are going to hit on that now the other thing i want to show you here is the ema ribbon so if we hop onto the ema ribbon here we can see that AMC stock price has still not fallen to any terrible levels right now. We can see back when AMC was really starting to decline, when we saw the 40s again, when we thought we were about to dip back into $30 per share, that's when AMC was plummeting through all these different EMA, EMA markers, and we pretty much almost hit the bottom, which would have been that 55 EMA. Now, we have not seen that. We are still pretty much following this line. We are bouncing off the 20 and the 25 right now, and hopefully, we will continue to trend above this EMA ribbon because that is a very good sign. And like I said, a lot of you may be concerned right now. You're like, what is going on with AMC stock? Why do we have all this? Why is the price continuing to go down? Guys, this is strength. This is truly showing strength. What we have going on right now with all these manipulating techniques, with the short sellers continuing to short and put more, more shares of AMC into the market, further driving the share price down, this is strength. Look at the numbers that we are holding right now. To me, this is some serious strength. Take a look at TRCH here. We take a look at another short squeeze that happened just a couple of days ago, which by the way, congrats to everyone that made money on this. We were talking about it a lot in the Discord and a ton of people made a lot of money. I did not FOMO into this one because I would have gotten in late, so I just sat on the sidelines. Nevertheless, though, throughout this run-up, people made a ton of money. Nevertheless, though, this is the opposite of strength. Look at this. The price for TRCH after this short squeeze literally plummeted back down to $4, $5 per share. We can see the volume was insane right here during this short squeeze. Now it is non-existent. We can see the RSI absolutely plummeted. So guys, this is what it looks like when a short squeeze happens and then there's just no more attention. Nobody wants anything to do with it. It's pretty much just over. This is what it looks like. Do you see this at all with, sorry, do you see this at all here with AMC? Not at all. This is just consolidation. This is strength while we continue to fight off these hedge funds. All right, so enough rambling here. Let's get back into some data. And I want to show you this right here because it all has to do with this exposing, all has to do with this information right here, and mainly this number, which is negative 555 million shares. A lot of you have questions on what exactly this means, so we're going to cover it all in today's video. But first, you have to understand how much this number keeps going up. Literally a week ago, 
this was at 390 million shares. Then it went up to 420, then it went up to 455, then 490, and now we are at 555 million. Let's see exactly what that number means. And this is from a very good post here on Reddit. So you guys can read along, but I'm just going to read a little bit of it here. So it says, so yesterday I posted peeing in the dark pool where I interpreted some data from StockGrid's dark pool charts. There were two parts in this. One, the volume in the dark pool and two, the short exempt volume. And now if we scroll down, let's see exactly what that number means. So it says, yes, for AMC, those negative shares are short. The short volume is reported by FINRA. So you guys can take a look at that if you want. And is mostly market makers short volume. When market makers are shorting, it means investors are buying. That's where the confusion comes in. And you guys can pause the video and read this, but pretty much I'll give you the short answer here. What that means is yes, 555 million AMC shares traded in the dark pool over the last 24 hours are short. 555 million just over the last 20 days are short. So you guys can see, she even says here, I'm going to say it very slowly, more than AMC's entire float of 400 some million has been turned over short in the dark pool in the last 20 days. And listen to that. You also have to remember that the CEO has said multiple times that retail investors, us apes, own 80% of the float since at least March 11th. So guys, we own 80% of that 400 some million shares currently in the float. Yet, as you can see here, 555 million shares were traded in the dark pool short just in the last 20 days. These are absolutely massive numbers and I don't really know what else you guys would possibly need to pretty much confirm all of these naked shares, all of these fake shares that are currently in the market for AMC. And now obviously this doesn't immediately mean the stock price is going to squeeze and it's going to go to $100,000 per share. It definitely does not mean any of that, but it's just good to further prove all of the manipulation that is currently going on in the market. It is absolutely insane and you guys have to realize with 400 million some shares to cover, yes, that's a lot. But guess what? When these guys have to recover all of, or should I say, buy back all of these fake shares that they currently have outstanding, which is upwards of over 1 billion shares of AMC currently outstanding in the market, this short squeeze has the opportunity to be absolutely massive. And that's why patience is absolutely my best asset right now. I would continue to be patient with AMC, hold on to my shares because I know the money that I put in, one, it would have to go below $9 per share for me to start losing money. And for those of you watching this channel, you are in the same boat. So we have a long way before I actually start losing money. And two, even if I did lose everything I put into AMC, I know that I can afford to lose it. The fact of the matter is the potential here for me outweighs the risk tenfold. So I will continue to hold my AMC shares. But moving on, let's move on kind of quick here. Let's get into the short interest update. So as we know, the shorts are continuing to short AMC stock, which is 100% an absolutely great thing. We are above 14% for short interest percent afloat, and it continues to go up by 1% or 2% every single day. Why is this good? Well, obviously, the higher the short interest is, the bigger potential we have for a squeeze, and the bigger that squeeze can actually be. When we saw that pretty much mini short squeeze, possibly even a gamma squeeze, what about a week or so ago, two weeks ago at this point, when we, when we went up to $75 per share, we saw that short interest dropped dramatically. That means a lot of those shorts were starting to cover their positions. However, now this is like game over, a reset. The shorts are starting to short again, and we're pretty much reloading for round two of this short squeeze. And I talked about that more in a previous video, but that is pretty much what I'm seeing here. We can see that reiterated by a ton of data here. In the dark pools, this is more dark pool trading information. We can see over the last several days that short percent continues to go up. We saw it go down here when and that mini short squeeze actually happened and now we are back on the rise on the 17th we see 38.2 percent up to 43.7 and now we are all the way up to 45.7 and it seems like every day we're getting higher and higher so guys the shorts are back the shorts are shorting amc more and more every single day which just gives us more opportunity for that short squeeze if every single ape or the majority of these apes continue to hold now like i said not all things are fine and dandy with amc stock 
We obviously, at least in my opinion, have a lot of good data coming out as far as exposures, as far as just them shorting AMC more and more, as far as the technicals go. But at the same time, when we take a look at the volume, we see that not all things are fine and dandy with AMC. The volume has been declining severely over the last several days and is down very substantially from some of those big numbers we have had. And so you can take a look at some of the information here. Take a look. We were up at 700 million shares traded for volume here back on what the 2nd of June and now we're hitting pretty much record lows for the month here on 116 million shares trading hands and you can see it has been going down 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 over the last several days so one thing we do need to see is we need to see volume pick up and I think the reason why the volume hasn't been picking up and has been declining is because a lot of retail investors are almost thinking that the squeeze could be over because we're just in this period of consolidation which in my opinion it definitely isn't true but at the same same time, I want to warn you, if enough apes think this is over and if enough apes start selling off their shares, trust me guys, the short squeeze is over. We need the majority of apes to hold onto their shares for the short squeeze to actually take place. So just some food for thought there, but we do have to keep an eye on the volume. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is exactly what Trey's Trades title said there in his video, which was, what should your expectations be for AMC stock? So let's talk about it here because I do think you're going to find Find this very valuable and first I want to read this because I think this person hits it nail on the head he says relax you've won we have reportedly warned new apes that the only tactic is psychological manipulations are you upset or confused about literally anything except holding on your golden tickets you fell victim and we know that's exactly what the media and exactly what these hedge funds are trying to do psychological manipulation pushing this price down and making it seem like the short squeeze is over posting all these articles that there's way better uh, meme stocks to be investing in right now so we know all of that is happening but here it says you've won they must cover all shorts must cover and they can't so long as you hold it is that simple of all the FUD and all the media spins not one single entity has ever countered RDD which I didn't even realize until this point that is pretty interesting not once has any media outlet said anything about RDD in the research that we have done it says not one they have never refuted our thesis they can't the data support Reports it as does the president of the NYSE New York Stock Exchange which we looked up and if you zoom out and see the big picture so does the DTCC and other regulatory banks through passing of damage control policies it says you've won a buy and hodl of course not financial advice whatsoever only do that if that is your individual choice and you believe in AMC but just like he says here my advice is step away set some price alerts and live your life if you have money and want to buy do so if you don't then do something else think of AMC as your savings account Account and pretty much just hodl of course only do that if you want to not financial advice whatsoever but the point is don't have these short-term expectations for AMC don't expect AMC to literally go to $100,000 per share in the next couple of days one that's just not how these things work and two the hedge funds are not going to give up that easy if you're in this AMC movement then you know it's going to take time if you've already been holding for several several months with us then you know that this takes time we were talking about this back January February and March then we were talking about it again at $9 per share just literally probably a month or so ago, maybe a little more. So this takes time. Five months ago, AMC was at $5 per share. And people were complaining then. The short squeeze is never going to happen. It's over. Forget about it. Now, look where it's at. We're at $60 per share or so. So the point is that this stuff takes time. $60 per share right now could literally be a new low in three months from now if the price is $300 per share or $500. So it just takes time. And that's why I don't have any short-term expectations. Like, like we said, we can make all the predictions we want. We can talk about what can potentially happen. We can talk about all of the possibilities but the point is if those things if those things do not happen I'm not getting discouraged because I don't have expectations that means something that needs to happen by this date or else my mindset changes I do not have that with AMC I plan to hold long term and will hold no matter how long this takes guys that is all I have for today's video I hope that made sense make your predictions we can talk about everything that could be happening and all the possibilities that could happen but if you're investing into AMC for the long term don't have those short term expectations expectations. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure and do so. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and of course, guys, I will see you in the next video.